what is going on to you um libras so you have the eight of wands the lovers um the magician the king of wands seven of pentacles two of swords six of wands hierophant three of wands and the seven of wands so for you libras um the eight of wands the lovers the magician i'm seeing how a lot of you libras are very much so you Libras are changing, <laughs> to say the least. A lot of you Libras are, are becoming very much so more bold about your boundaries of what you want and what you don't want. And what I mean by that is very much so bold about not being not being afraid of telling people if you were to, to get into a confrontation where people talk to you like you not worth anything, you Libras are not going to bite your tongue. A lot more of you Libras are gonna speak up and tell them, no, you don't want somebody who does this. You don't want somebody that has this. You don't want somebody who does this. No, that's not what it is that you want. And the magician now represents you actually taking charge of your life. And a lot of people, they're gonna have a hard time really dealing with you Libras because I said this before, the opposite zodiac sign of Libra is Aries. So a lot of times people will be thinking that you Libras are scared. That's that's the first misconception. You Libras are scared. You Libras are punks. You Libras don't have any kind of, you know, ability to, to, to fight back. Any, you know, no backbone. That's not true. Let's not forget that Charles Oliveira, the one time... Uh, lightweight champion of USC is a Libra. Let's not forget K Flock is a Libra. Let's not forget, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, y'all are not punks at all. So now that a lot of you Libras are actually standing up now mentally and understanding what you don't want, because a lot of the times Libra will, uh, Libras, y'all will end up making very rash decisions because y'all are air signs. Y'all will make very rash decisions when y'all don't, when y'all are inexperienced and you don't know any better. You'll do it physically. But now, at a certain point, when you Libras grow up mentally and you live and you experience certain things and, and under the condition that you learn your lessons, a lot of you Libras will be very, very patient. And what you'll do is, is that a lot of you Libras will understand, okay. It's justifiable for you to actually stand up and start to say the things that you want and you don't want because you're an adult now. So now you get to control that. You don't get to control what you can, what you eat and what you don't eat when you are a little one. You're, you're little. You don't have a steak or any kind of foot uh, hole or standing in this world because you're small. You're not an adult to actually take charge of your own life but the magician represents you taking charge the king of wands and the seven of pentacles represents you still gonna have in the future people who try to get one over on you but it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work libra because you libras now have a checklist of what you want in right what you want and what you don't want i don't want me personally i don't want anyone with offspring that's not that's not something that i want I don't want someone who, you know what I mean, who is too big. I don't want all of that, you know, but that's, but that's me. I don't want a person who's, who's, who's considerably older than me. You understand what I'm saying? If it, if it's too much, then it's too much for me, you know, and I'm not going to be disrespectful. I'm going to just let the person know that I'm not feeling them like that. Or at the same time, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I will just essentially leave, but you Libras have your own hangups for your own particular reason. And the reason why is because you would get dealt anything Libra, if you don't open up your mouth and start to say what it is that you want and what you don't want, you will get dealt with anything. That's one of the reasons why it is that you will get dealt trash because certain decisions get made for you based upon living life.
because you don't actually say, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. And that, if, and that there's reasons for that. I don't want someone with offspring because I would, I, in the future, if I'm ever ready to, I would like to create my own family. Running into a situation where I don't have any offspring, but now I instantly have offspring, that's a problem. I would like nine months to prepare mentally to be like, oh, okay, this is really happening. That's all a preparation period and part of it, among other things too. So a person trying to get me to accept that about them, and that's not going to work. I don't like it. Right? And you Libras know why you don't like certain things. The two of swords. And don't let people try to guilt trip you. Six of wands. Because if you allow them to do that, you will accept anything because they want you to accept anything. Dysfunctional people uh, in the future that you're, that for future references, they're going to want to try you by trying you to get to accept anything. Especially now when you Libras are really finding out more about yourselves and stating, coming out and saying it, look, you want this, you don't want this. That's when the universe is going to try to test you to see how powerful your resolve is. And if you fail the test, you will have the same situation until you learn that lesson and stick to the, what you want versus what you don't want. And then you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant represents, and don't feel bad about it, the Hierophant represents you know why it is that you're doing it. I don't want somebody, and I'm using myself as an example, so don't trip. I don't want anybody right, to be considerably older than me. I'm 31 going on 32. I don't want anybody to be considerably older than me because of the fact that, again, I like beauty. So even if you are considerably older, you're going to have to keep yourself in shape. You're going to have to keep up. And if you can't do that and you allow your you allow yourself to be let go, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not attracted to that type of stuff. But I'm not going to waste anyone's time. So the three of wands and the seven of wands now represent. And because of this, don't allow people to waste your time and don't you Libras waste your own time messing around with a person that all it is that they want to do is just waste your time, be out here, be dysfunctional, right? By trying to get you to accept anything, be okay with, with anyone, even if you're not really into them like that. And if a person is going to be upset at you, Seven of Wands, let them be upset. What can they do about it? They can do nothing. So let's clarify some, some of these cards. So let's clarify the Hierophant. It's time for you Libras to, to stand up. It's time for you Libras to rise up, y'all. So to clarify the Hierophant, we have the Page of Wands, the Judgment, the Eight of Swords, and then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So, this represents, so to clarify the Hierophant, Right. This represents how you are because the reason why I say it's time for you to stand up is because page of wands, the page, the page of wands, the judgment. You're not wrong or there's nothing wrong with stating that you will not accept anything. Just anything, just anything that comes to you. You're not wrong for that. All of us have are deal breakers. All of us should have, I should say, because not all of us have those, but all of us should have, sorry about that, all of us should have our deal breakers where we say, nah, I'm not going to rock with this. I'm not going to rock with this. Person in their 50s, a person in their 60s, a person in their 70s, it depends if they look good. But if they don't, which most don't to me, then the answer is no. It's not. A, it's not anything where... I'm bashing, it's nothing to go against. I'm not out here trying to be, you know what I mean? Trying to be harsh, I'm just keeping it in 100. And the same type of, of boundaries go for you. The Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, two eight cards represents, and this is where the weeding out period is gonna be. This is the, the like weeds, you go to the, you go to the, uh, the ground, pull out the weeds. You know why? Because you, this is the situation now, part of your life, where you Libras are learning to 
to process of elimination. That's another piece of the game, another layer of the game that a lot of people don't talk about. Stop trying to go for er any and everything. Stop trying to do that. You know why? Because people will accept you with the worst options ever imaginable or ever imagined. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. And not only that too, but the Eight of Swords represent by you stating what you don't want. This also makes it to where now it's, it's a situation where the dysfunctional people that would have offered that BS to you is staying away because you've made it clear that you do not want this. This is the reason why it is that making distinctions is so good. It's because, when, because things will be left up for conjecture and when and in places where you need to make a delineation or a separation or a distinction between two things that you're talking about so that people don't end up getting caught up with the subtleties or trying to spin a narrative you create that line of that line of delineation in the sand like look i'm not talking about this so the eight of pentacles now represents and because of this if people try to waste your time, Libra, guess what it is that you're going to do? You're going to carry on. 